Oh, you niggas don't understand. We been through pain together, can't switch. Be the same forever. New piece, I can claim whatever. Choose then, try my chain wherever. Yo, what is up, guys? It's just CC here. Back with another video. Today, I'm going to share with you the most underrated guard build, point guard, shooting guard, doesn't really matter. The best offensive threat build for 2k20 now this build i'm gonna use personally uh, because I, I found this actually by accident i wanted to make a playmaker shot creator which i did but i didn't like the way it was turning out so i used like two different pie charts and came up with something and it said offensive threat so yeah this offensive threat is similar to allen houston the person from the knicks or something James Harden and Klay Thompson. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. All right, guys. As you can see, I chose the pie chart that has majority of the shooting and playmaking in it. And then for the physical profile, I chose the agility and vertical because strength doesn't really matter on a guard that much. Oh, and I forgot to put this in. Um, these pie charts may be stuff that should change because Ronnie tweeted that they might put more customization and more freelance on building our player so if it really does then I'll have an updated video on that or updated build video because it might change so yeah so here are the attributes that I maxed out on this build um, the post don't really mean that much but I upgraded post fade and post moves to have more badge upgrades so that's the only reason why I did that because you're barely gonna get any finishing um, bad upgrades and defensive rebounders is always going to be one on this build until you get more upgrades when you play my career uh, for the body shape I did it doesn't really affect your character for me I would either put defined or compact because that's like a that's like a go-to for a guard that's how I see it and stuff as a guard and stuff so yeah, I for this one I chose compact. The height it would be 6'4 just to get that extra ball handling and driving layup and stuff. And lateral clearance as well. The weight, I put it at 200. Uh, it could be either between 200 and well 199 or like 203 because you don't want to lose any upgrades and stuff. But yeah, I put the weight to 200 just to be balanced and stuff and not to lose anything and the wingspan I put it to the lowest as possible 76 to get that three point and mid-range shot up and my ball handling up a little bit as long as my post moves and then takeover this one gives you four takeovers so I was gonna go with the playmaker takeover but I, I might go with the shot crane takeover it depends on what, what's gonna happen when the following game releases and stuff so yeah, either playmaking or shot creating takeover is pretty good. Shot shooting is pretty good too because this build can actually shoot from the lights. I would recommend the slashing takeover because it's pointless and you barely got any upgrades for driving and finishing. So I would not recommend to use that takeover at all. So you can see we have an offensive threat, Allen Houston, James Harden, Clay Thompson build. So yeah, next we're gonna do is the badges. All right, so we're gonna start off with the finishing badges. For me, I would recommend to put Acrobat and Pick and Roller. I don't know why I freaking picked Fast Bake Finisher. It's not like I'm gonna like be dunking on people, making them fall to the ground and stuff. So yeah, Acrobat on Silver and Pick and Roller on Gold. That's what I recommend to start out with until you get more upgrades for finishing and stuff. They could probably just add, you know, fancy footwork fast plate finisher and uh, slithery finisher or teardropper those are like the badges I would recommend for the finishing so for the shooting badges that I want to start out with I will start out with catch and shoot bronze dead eye on silver deep fades gold because you want to get those um, fades from three or from mid-range like a shock hater Difficult Shots Hall of Fame, Green Machine, on Gold, Quick Draw on Gold, Range Extender, and Volume Shooter. Um, 
but in the final game you can change around the badges so for me i'll also recommend picking up corner specialist tireless shooter and uh steady shooter probably also hot start like majority of these badges i would recommend picking up because they're pretty good for shooting so for the playmaking badges I put ankle breaker on Hall of Fame because you know your boy likes to drop people and he needs to make them for his mixtapes, you know, and stuff. Uh, downhill so you can have so you can be faster with the ball, handles for days so you can dribble a lot because you know they nerfed the dribbling in this game. Needle threader, uh, tight handles on goal as well. Uh, quick first step is pretty important too because with the hesitation and stuff, you get a step ahead. Um, I will also recommend, as also part playmaker, get Dimer, um, Flash Flash you don't really need. Uh, stop and goal is pretty important too, and if you don't want to get your the ball stolen a lot, uh, get unpluckable. For the defense uh, badges, since you only have one upgrade, I picked, uh, picked Dodger, but... I think over time you'll still get badge upgrades. So I would also get uh, box, pickpocket, tireless defender, trapper, uh, clamps, and off ball pests because these badges can help actually help you stay on defense with your man and stuff. And pick dodgers are actually pretty good to start out with because uh, playing as a guard. They're gonna be calling for a lot of picks, so Pick Dodger will help you get around them. Oh God, voice crack! I really hate myself, but Pick Dodger will help you get around them and stuff. Um, but as long as they don't have brick wall. And for the jump shot, I chose Kobe Bryant because I don't know, it's pretty smooth and stuff. Pretty, I kind of like the jump shot. So yeah, that's my tutorial on how to make an offensive threat to me i think this is a beast build in the game as long as you're not going to change it in the final game um it's a pretty good build to start out with with if you're like experienced guard or something or if you're trying to find your way back to dribbling or something trying to convert back from like well a big man back to a guard and stuff so yeah i have i'm gonna leave you guys with some clips of me using um the offensive threat build so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want to make, I don't know, a, another tutorial or something like this, this is my first time doing this. Uh, leave a like, uh, comment what you think about this build and stuff. If you have any other recommendations, you can also leave that down in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.